Hey everybody, how's it going? So, this is uh, the shed I've been needing to work on tearing down this part of. I got the whole roof off. This part was relatively easy because of how soggy this OSB is. I just stayed on this side of it. Took a hammer, reached over, and pounded through all of it because I don't know where my sawzall is. I didn't feel like spending an hour looking for it. So I did it that way. Dropped everything in here, made a mess. And it was only after I did that. And uh, this is where the window used to be. It was all chicken wire. Um, once I got this opened up so I could start walking in and out, I started taking stuff out. This board, rotten. This board, rotten. In this corner here, there was like a, a tree cookie, and there was a bunch of sawdust underneath, so that would explain the uh, damage I found inside this corner, because... <clears throat> thinking I needed to, to come all the way out to here to get this off because I didn't look at it close enough I removed this board and I think this one yeah definitely this one because it's still not on there right I'll have to run a couple screws in um, and the stud underneath there was all had moisture damage and insect damage so that's not good but I can't worry about that right now this doorway I've got this covered up temporarily like those boards on top are barely in because the screws are too short I just grabbed them from other spots in here table saw is ruined oh I've got some of this sheathing loose. Uh, yeah, I got everything out of here that's going to be saved except for that. This is no good. It's been getting rained on for years, so I wouldn't plug that in. <coughs> I got a lot of the roofing picked up already. This is pretty much all that's left. That was right here for whatever. Oh, I know why that was there. Because when it rains and the water would drip off here, it would hit this rock and splash up against. So that was put there to protect the wood. That makes sense now. This corner, I was basically able to just push it out. I didn't even have to struggle with up there because there's so much rot. If this wasn't so flat so such a low low pitch um it would be savable i'd say but because of the pitch the way it is and we can't get any closer to the ground i'd say uh it's just all gonna go so i'm not really looking too forward to when my father comes up tomorrow and sees that I've done all this because he's like, oh, those sheds aren't going to mean anything to anyone that has to buy the house. Uh, actually, yeah. Because this is a $3,000 cost to demolish all of them. Now, they, granted, they don't all need to be, but uh, they're getting in kind of rough shape. So, I got to do what I can to assist do my my part and help out with um, the appeal and part of that is ripping this off making this shed smaller now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here there is a door inside that flips around and closes but um, I could either do that and add a little bit to the door or put something on top of the door because I don't think it goes all the way up 
to the top I think it comes to like here which uh, didn't matter when the chickens were in here but uh, that's not good enough I'm thinking I might just close it all in I'd probably be better would also add strength to this wall because this is probably uh, I don't know what the length of it, of, of the width of that opening and the length of the wall overall. Probably 25% because there's all that back there. So I also have to clean all those pine needles off. Actually, I got my shovel. I should do that right now. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that right now. And then I've got to put those boards in the other shed. Because God forbid we throw those away. We should just throw them away. That post is good. That post is good. The rest of those boards are junk. That's junk. Everything in these cans is junk. Those, were in the, those clothes were in the silver truck. My neighbor was supposed to take them for rags. He never did. So I used some of them. Fuck it. I'm tired of looking at them. So they're going to go. Uh, <clears throat> junk. But I got to load up the truck and take, uh, take all this away. So there's plenty of work to do. I heard something about it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I certainly hope not. Because if it doesn't rain tomorrow, I could maybe, maybe get more of this done. I'd really like to get the rest of this down. I just haven't worked on it because my, uh, my wire snips are being stupid. Yeah, so that's where uh, that's where this is at. I was hoping to maybe reuse this floor and um, get a shed kit and put it like sideways or something, and then it would open out this way so I could put my stuff in it. But I'm not liking this floor; it's so uneven and all that. But it's coming together. We're coming apart, rather. I got a couple splinters driving me nuts. Anywho, I don't know. One more I still haven't given away yet. I um. was thinking of maybe doing a project with it, but I gotta get a couple other people on board and I'm not sure mm. if I'm really going to want to or not, so hopefully I get an answer on that soon because I really want that thing gone unless I'm using it for what my idea is. I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway everyone, thank you very much for watching. Uh feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And, um, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.